Yo, what's going on? We back, everybody. Welcome back. It's another lovely week. Retrograde is going on. Mercury don't be fucking with my life. Episode 37, top 12 travel tips. You know what we doing here, people. We gonna teach y'all what to do and what not to do. But before I get into these honorables, y'all know the fucking vibes. One, everybody can't go. And two, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. So let me get into these honorable mentions as follows top 12 travel tips bring your own charges in your aux cords have a passport my nigga seriously don't fly spirit never fly spirit airlines sit down until we leave thank you i appreciate you don't ever crack the window shade open i don't play that shit that's the honorable mentions let's get into these lists right now top 12 y'all let's do it Number 12, yo, stop bringing me that duty-free white henny over here to sell me, bro. We don't need it. I can get white henny from anywhere. It's over now. The wave has been done. We talking the wave been over since like 2012, my nigga. Let it go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. You got the white henny, I'm gonna be right back. I got henny bottles for sale. No, no, nigga, I can go get it on the, at the liquor store now. On Hillside, dead ass. I'm like, let it go, boy. You ain't out here bringing back bundles or bags or packs of birds, nigga. Shut the fuck up. All right? Let the white henny go. Get out of here. Next, number 11. Yo, dress properly. I don't want to see no bonnets on my flight, no fuzzy slippers, no offense, ducky, no PJs. Dress like you got some goddamn proper home training, all right? Like, you don't know who you're going to meet on this flight, and you don't know who you're going to be sitting next to on this flight. You might meet your future spouse, or you might meet somebody who can put you up in a spot, in a business position that you never thought of, because guess what? Y'all stuck on a flight, and y'all getting to know each other right then and there. So do yourself a favor and look the fucking part, please. God damn, your grandmothers would be pissed off they saw you outside looking like this. Number 10, bring your own headphones. I don't wanna sit back and have you reaching over me trying to get these bum ass packs of headphones for $2 from De Delta or JetBlue and them shits don't even stay in your ears, right? And they ain't got no bass, they ain't got no bass. You listen to the motherfucking shit, you can hear me booming on the flight because you know what the vibe is when I'm watching Fast 9 on them flights. You know what I'm listening to. You hear the bombs exploding and the gunshots going off. Rat tat tat tat. Uh, rat tat tat tat. Number nine, take a shower. Yes. Stop coming on the flight smelling real oppy, boy. It's not a move, okay? And also, do yourself a favor. Get you some socks, boy. When you in that airplane, it's OD cold. I dare you to say it's not cold on the floor. It's brick. You heard me? So listen, do yourself a favor. Make sure your hygiene is right and put on some socks. Yo, number eight. If you a tall motherfucker, you get aisle seats and exit rows. I don't want to see you over 5'9 in the middle seat or in the window. You look stupid, boy, and your knees is blocking my, my backrest. I can't slide back. I need to slide back, my nigga. I hate y'all tall, goofy niggas in the wrong seats, bro. Spend that bread, my nigga. Get you an aisle seat. Probably prepare for this shit, my nigga. Stretch your legs out. Kick it. You know what I'm saying? Or get you an aisle seat or get the fucking exit row. Everyone knows that if you ain't gonna have business class, comfort class, or first class, the exit row is the move. Do yourself a favor, man. You know what I mean? Just invest in yourself a little bit, man. It's a comfort ride. Number seven, this rule is not for everybody. Everybody can't go. We know the vibes. But if you on a private jet, PJ rule number one, bring your drugs and your guns, all right? But don't bring your guns to Jamaica. Don't bring your guns out of the country, my nigga. It's not jurisdiction. You cannot do that. But if you got some good weed on your shit, make sure you know what the vibes is. You know what I mean? Make sure you do your little one-two thing. Join the Maha Club and have a good time on your PJ. Yo, and also, just a quick little drug tip. If you flying out of LAX or JFK or LaGuardia, whichever one, you know what I mean? Just know you can take up that ounce on you. You know what I'm saying? So just do your thing. They ain't gonna beef with you. Take your weed. Do your thing. But if you're going to New from, from New York to LA, my nigga, just don't take weed because you know the weed in LA is way better than it is over here. You know what I mean? We got Zaza. They got the boom. That's it. Let's be clear. So now you know the vibes. Number six. 
if you're doing a weekend flex or less than 24 hours or less than 48 hours, don't check in no bag, bro. You wasting my time when I gotta come pick you up, bro. What you mean you waiting at the gate for your bag? You ain't here that long, what bag you brought, bro? What are you doing? Come on, my nigga. Now I gotta leave the airport, go back all the way around on the conduit, come back through. I don't wanna do all that. I don't wanna have to do all this. I'm not backtracking because I'm waiting for you to get your bag, my nigga. When I pull up, you say I land at 2.15, you be walking out that fucking exit by 2.30, 2.25 the latest. Top five dead or alive. Remember, everybody can't go. I'm not playing this week, man. I'm serious. Yo, bring back motherfucking peanuts on the flights, all right? I want that option. I need peanuts, pretzels, gold on um, crackers, and fucking bisco. I don't need to have no anything else. I need my peanuts back. And yo, how you gonna allow dogs to fly? You know what I'm saying? But you gonna take peanuts because peanut allergy. How you know I ain't allergic to this motherfucking person's dog on the flight? How you know that? Sitting back here sniffling and shit, needing a Benadryl and all that, because you got this punk ass puppy in the fucking bleaches. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I need peanuts back. Set me out. Dead ass, B. I'm sick of these blue chips. Yo, number four. This is a very important rule. Don't travel to no fucking spot with people you don't fucking know. You understand what I'm saying? Travel light, travel far. Remember I said that, travel light, travel far. That even goes for when you go to the club. Travel light, travel far. Take that into consideration, people. You out here going somewhere with somebody you don't even fucking know, next thing you know, you waiting for them because they taking too long. They don't got no respect for time. They don't understand the room situation. Now you gotta spaz on them in front of their friends and all this shit. We ain't trying to do all that. Talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. Travel light, travel far. Don't, don't, don't fly with niggas you don't know. If you got any discrepancies, you can hit the comments below. Yo, number three, this is a good fucking rule. Pick your airline and be loyal. Build them points, we grown right now. You know what I mean? Build your points up. And if you got a, a credit card or you got good credit, make sure you get a credit card that works with that same airline. So you build more points up while flying. You know what I'm saying? So if you gonna cop the little snack box with the little with the cheese and the grapes and all that, you know what I mean? You swipe that card, bow, get more points, bow, you know what I mean? And then while you're on that vacation, keep using that same card, bow, 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 point, 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 point. And guess what that does when you are about to get on your flight? Upgrade, upgrade. Oh, we have another seat for you. Would you like, yes I do. Take that, thank you. Points matter, bugging out. He's looking at a gold member over here, boy. Number two, no overnight flights with kids. Fuck them kids, bro. I don't like doing red eyes with children. They crying, they kicking chairs, they up there trying to play, put them little bitch niggas to bed or go on an early flight. I don't care, fuck them kids, fuck your kids, I don't give a shit. I'm not here for that. Them red eye flights is for people who are really doing work out here and just trying to reset to get back to their fucking time zone and get back to it. I need a calm, tranquil flight home. I'm not here for the games, man. Keep your kids on an earlier flight. You need to suffer with them, not me. I paid for this seat. And number one rule of flying, when you traveling, I don't wanna hear it. This is the number one rule. Tell me I'm bugging. No connecting flights ever. I don't care where you're going. If you have to connect to get to where you're going, you're not supposed to fly there, period. You cannot afford that trip. That is not for you. That rate was not yours in the, in the in the first place. You are not supposed to be in that time zone. I don't care if it's an emergency and Grandpa Pop died and all that. You better figure it out and get to Grandpa faster then. Because Grandpa's supposed to mean more to you than a fucking connecting flight. Those are my rules and that's what I'm sticking to. If your rule ain't on here, so be it. Everybody can't go. You know the rules. You know my body. So with that being said, I'll see y'all niggas next week. Salute.